Hello, dear ones. Let's talk about, let's get real. Let's talk about something that's very necessary right now. And that is grieving for the ones, for your dear ones that have taken or are going to be taken the experimental gene therapy. This is something in the past few months on and off that I have been doing myself. I haven't, uh, you see my last video I posted was in Jan beginning of January. And then this heaviness, this heaviness was with me. Not me, of course, it's never who you are, what you are, but it was with me. And I needed, I needed it to be there, to work with it. And that was grieving and really grieving for humanity for at least the 50% who are choosing this other frequency, this old frequency of the fear and control and tyranny and all of that. And choosing the, the shot, the experimental gene therapy that they're calling a vaccine. I'm not going to get into the details of that. If, if you know it, you know it. And if you don't, you don't. And you're welcome to message me for details if you'd like them, for resources. Happy to point you in direction. But most importantly, you already feel it, right? As soon as I felt into the frequency, as soon as it was being talked about and I felt into the frequency, I didn't need, I don't need any, anybody um, telling me uh, any evidence of, you know, this and that and, and this, is, this is what it's going to do or what it's not going to do and this is safe or it's not safe. Yes, of course, I have done all the research. However, I just knew it's, and I, and never in my life, well, I should say not ever in my life, in, in many, many years have I looked at something as a black or white scenario or a right or wrong. And I still, and I still won't even with this, right? Because who am I to say what's right for someone, what's wrong for someone? However, because it's their journey, right? And they're gonna get what they, what they need from it. And I, I honor that, I respect that. And yes, it's all perfect. And yes, it's all happening perfectly. However, that doesn't mean that I can't, that I'm not going to grieve or that I haven't been grieving for my dear ones, which is all of humanity. And especially some other dear ones very close to me who, who, have, who either have or will be choosing the gene therapy. This is an important step that you can't skip. You can't really miss it. And I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait until they've taken the gene therapy and either something happens right away or as we know within the following the next two years, that's very likely. Um, and they're not here anymore. Their body, they drop their body. Again, not saying that any of this is bad or wrong. Um, but we, we can see, right, we know that it's, that it's harmful, that it will be harmful in many ways and in many levels. And I've, I would never say that really about anything. So this is a really big deal for me to say. This thing that you will take into you will harm you. It will, it, you will not be okay. And it is not safe. Not because this is just a physical level and your body won't be okay. Your body's your body. But this is affecting your connection to source. And maybe you don't even, but people that don't know or believe that or know what that is. And, you know, these are a lot of the people who will be um, taking the gene therapy. So I'm getting off topic. I wanted to talk about that grieving process. So for me, I went through a, a few days, really intense few days, where I was um, really wanted to offer and invite this dear one in my life um, into some other information that might open his eyes into what else might be going on, right? And it was just like a wall, so it's not happening, right? We all know, we all know we've probably, you've probably tried it, um, not happening. So then I had to accept that completely. And this loving detachment is a beautiful thing. And it's something I've experienced for a long time with family and friends in the world. But this one thing 
and this one person was really challenging for me. So I had to look at that. I had to go in and say, what is it that's holding on? What is it that's, that wants so much for this person to see, to see the light? And so that was my own journey. But now that it's been released, doesn't mean I don't think about it. I think about it all the time. Um, and I choose whether or not I want to suffer or not. You know, that's always my choice. But this space of, of just really letting yourself feel all the feels around grief, around watching people stand in line and, and effectively going to the gas chamber you know, just asking for it, wanting it, waiting for it, so excited about it. So grieve what you need to. You can't force yourself out of that. I tried <laughs> these past few months. I was like, okay, Tara, okay, it's time. It's time to create again because I'm a creator. I'm an action. I'm a doer. Things just come through me. They come through me and I just create them. These past few months, that wasn't happening at all. It wasn't happening at all and every time I sat with it and I surrendered and I asked it was the message was you'll know when it's time and so now I'm feeling that that energy that exciting energy because at the same time this grieving is going on we've also got the most extraordinary time probably ever that humans have lived on this planet and what we're seeing right now that this old system, this old junk system that has served us well, right? That has shown us what we're not, that has been a beautiful mirror and reflection of what we as humanity on this whole planet has created, right? It's shown us where we've gotten to, right? In the psychosis of what's been important and prioritized. So it's perfect, it's been perfect. But now it's no longer serving the evolution of this planet or the beings on this planet. So it has to go. And it will go. It is going. It's, a, it's actually already gone. We're just seeing the remnants of it, right? With the control and, the, and this, um, this gene therapy is a huge piece of that puzzle, right? That's been very, very on purpose. So, but that's going. And we are now... We are create, we've always been create, there's, there's always been these two frequencies operating here on this planet. And that's why you've never felt like you belonged because you never understood that frequency. It's not, it's not you. It's never been you. And so polarity, mm, yes, but not really because it's always been this. Now it's just very clear, you know? You know it's so clear now. You're like the folks who get it and the folks who don't get it. It's very clear. It is black and white. And so you can't be in the middle of this one. That's You just can't because you're on one train or the other and they're already very, 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 very far apart. So this new train, this new energy, this, this creation that's happening, it's not coming from a from the mind or from we have to do it to survive, right? There's that I, there's the old idea of lack, not enoughness, and we have to do it to survive. Money, work, you know, all the things. I gotta lie to maybe just this little one lie to, or I'm not gonna tell the whole truth just to make myself look good or to, um, to make sure that that I'm okay and that I'm surviving, that I have food. Right? I'm going to kind of do whatever I have to do. I'm going to sell my soul a little bit, little pieces of it every day or just flying away. No more. There's no more of that bullshit. There's no more of that bullshit in this new reality that we has always been here that now is taking the forefront. Now it's ours. Now this world, this planet, it's ours. We are the ones that are calling the shots and making the rules by, by our own knowing, our own connection to source. And so this it's and so this new paradigm that we're creating full force now, it comes from us. And 
and just feel when I say that. So I want you to feel, maybe close your eyes if you want and take a moment. And I want you to feel the sense of you, the simple, the simplicity, the wholeness that is just you, completely you, the deepest sense of you. I want you to feel that. And now open your eyes and look at me. You are the value. You are the currency. It's not going to be the system. The fiat system is falling apart anyway. We've just pumped like $5 trillion into the economy in the U.S. Of course, hyperinflation is going to happen and the fiat dollar will no longer exist in some time, six months or so. It'll exist, but, um, but even that won't be for very long. And don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Feel your own feels. Okay, this is all stuff that that I have um, been tuned into for a while now. So, but just feel that you are the currency. You are the value. What you bring, what you create, what you just what you are, who you're being in the world, in every moment. The simplicity of that, the wholeness of that, the fullness of that, the richness of that, the light of that. And there's so much more beyond that as well. But we're not going to talk about that right now. I just want you to feel that deeply. That how exciting. We don't have to struggle and to survive and scrape by and all these things. But in order to do that, in order to know your value, and be the value in the world and create with your fellow brothers and sisters, it requires you to take full responsibility for yourself and, and know who you are and know what you want and stand for that and say that and speak that when it's right, when it's appropriate. You can't kind of just go along with this other thing anymore. It just doesn't work. That's, that's a different frequency. It doesn't match. They're just like missing each other. It's already off on its own thing. And so on the one hand, it's a time of grieving the old and really letting it go. So you have to let it go. It's not going to be here anymore. That may be many years from five years from now, 10 years from now. I don't know, but it's not going to be here anymore. And in order for us to go make it to this new energy, right? that can be done with much ease. The catalyst is this thing that is creating a lot of pain and suffering for people and even for us who are who are on this new path. And there will be a lot of loss. There will be a lot of loss. And I think it's really really awesome to just be aware of that and not in a fear way, not in like oh no. You know, let's Grieve it now. Realize it now and that it's okay. Right? It's okay what other, whatever journey these other frequency folks are going to be on. Because that's theirs. That's not ours. That's not how we want it. That's not how we want to travel anymore. We're traveling. We're traveling. We're the light now. And so awareness is important. Grieving. Grieving it. Letting it go. Really let it go and feel the excitement and the extraordinariness of this time and of you. You are extraordinary. You always have been. You've always been whole. You've always been complete and full and the light. And if all this is resonating for you, then you're on this train already. You're on this train. Hope this was helpful for you dear ones my friends we're in this together we really are you're not alone you know it might get sticky might get real sticky um, but do what you feel to do do what excites you do what lights you up and take the time to feel your feels okay i love you so much <laughs>